Hey everyone, it's June 20th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with Mexican serial killer Jose Luis Calva Zepeda, known as the cannibal poet who murdered and ate at least three victims. And that is him right up there. And as always, I'm going to apologize in advance for the terrible Spanish pronunciation in this video. Born in Mexico City in 1979, Zepeda had a traumatic childhood, with his father dying when he was just two years old, and his mother dating a string of men who she would bring home and make him call Papa. At the age of seven, he was sexually abused by a friend of his older brother. He married while in his mid-twenties and fathered two children, but his wife left him and moved to the U.S. with their daughters, causing him to go into a deep depression. Zepeda dated many women after his wife left, often lying to them about what he did for a living, claiming to be a playwright, reporter, novelist, and poet. He sought out women who worked in pharmacies to gain access to cloanzepam, a drug he took for anxiety. Zepeda was known for being a controlling partner, and in 2004, he became a cold-blooded killer. His girlfriend at the time was found dismembered with her body parts stuffed into cardboard boxes. In 2007, the dismembered body of a prostitute was found stuffed in a suitcase shortly before Zepeda's then-girlfriend went missing. Police turned up and searched his home and found a grisly discovery. Human flesh was found in a frying pan on his stove, and the majority of his girlfriend's corpse was in his closet. Human bones were found in a cereal box, and muscle tissue was on a plate with lime and salt on the table, and her calf was in his refrigerator. They found bloody knives and a box cutter that were used to cut up the body, and an unfinished novel Zepeda was working on called Cannibal Instincts. He had altered a photo of Hannibal Lecter to look like himself and put that on the cover. A former girlfriend reported that he was obsessed with bestial porn, witchcraft, and the sadistic novel 120 Days of Sodom. After being charged with homicide, his defense attorney told the court that he had killed the women due to being high on cocaine, but that he had not eaten any of them. The lime and salt make me suspicious of that claim. Zepeda took his own life while awaiting trial, hanging himself with a belt, with relatives saying that he didn't seem suicidal. No word on whether they thought he seemed cannibalistic, so their judgment may not be the best. Police suspect that Zepeda was the perpetrator of multiple other murders in Mexico City in the early 2000s, but we'll never really know for sure. I should note that there are also three other serial killers born on this day. Patrice Allegre from France, David Wood from Texas, and Eugene Wayman McWaters Jr. from Florida, but Zepeda was the only cannibal. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday, and go have a great meal with lime and salt. Uh, and if you know somebody whose birthday it is today, Send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Jose Luis Calva Zapeda, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.